What is good you sexy bastards? Welcome back, it is SCG and we have a brand new video for you today. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. Turn on the bell so you don't miss future uploads like this one. Now if you also want to check out our merch shelf, you can click down below and get yourself some of that sexy SCG swag. And if you don't follow us yet on social media, you can find us anywhere at Stella Crew Gaming and also check out our website at StellaCrewGaming.com. And with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get it. What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and we have a brand new video for you today. Now, in this video, we're going to be covering something new, and this is the new Grand Theft Auto Vice City Definitive Edition Save Editor for PS4 by XB36 Hazard. Now, that is a bit of a mouthful, but basically, it's a new save editor for Vice City, the Definitive Edition. So, the same guy who brought us a save editor for GTA 5 has done us a solid and made us one for the Vice City Definitive Edition. So, he reached out to me last week and asked me if I would be willing to make a video going over the software in depth, showing all the cool things that we can do with it. So, I agreed to do it. So, here we are. Now, basically, what we're going to be doing in the very beginning here, if a lot of you is going to be familiar with already, and that's going to be taking our save and putting it onto a USB and then bringing it onto our computer with Save Wizard where we can then transfer it into the save editor and modify the save. So that's what we're going to do here first of all. So you can do this one a couple ways. If you want to just go ahead and download a modded save already from my description, I will leave two modded saves down there where you can go ahead and just reassign those with Save Wizard and put them onto your account. But if you do want to play around with them a little bit more and customize them with uh, more in depth, then you can do so just using one of your own saves. And then here is the Grand Theft Auto Vice City Definitive Edition Save Editor for PS4. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that file now. I'm just gonna close that one I had. So we just downloaded that to our desktop. So here it is, UE4 Save Game. All right, and we can want to create a backup. We can just click yes. And if we do create a backup, they will just show up over here under backups. So if we click on backups, and then you got your PC or PlayStation, depending on what type of save you're using, it'll just show you here all of your backups. So in the backup section, if you want to copy a backup, if you want to delete it, if you want to open the file location to see where it is, if let's say you made some changes to your most recent version of this, we can delete it and go back to the previous version and just go to the file location and then we can go ahead and reopen it and this will be the non-corrupted version. So this will keep it here as long as you of course select yes to back up the data. So we can now close this. I'll go through a couple of these little things up here top at the top before we dig into the different options. So first of all, we obviously have here, open the file, which I just did. When we're done editing it, we got the save file right next to it. Then we've got the uh, close file. So once we've done it and we saved it, we can close it. Here we've actually got a converter. So if we found, say, a save that was uh, designed for PC or Nintendo Switch or whichever, and we want to convert it into a different file type, we can do that in here. So it's actually got a built-in converter for us. So whether it's slot one, two, three, four, whichever, pick which one you want, you can just do slot one. I can go here and take it and convert it to PC. So if I want to convert it to PC, I'm going to click Convert PC. I can select that same file I just did, click Open, and now it's gonna save it as a new file in the PC version, and there it goes, save was converted to PC. So now I'm gonna have a PC version and a PS4 version. But again, let's say I found a PC save on the web somewhere that wanted to convert into PS4, I could do it that same way. So we can go ahead and close that now. And then we've got all the different options up here, which we'll go through in depth, but we'll skip over here. We got light and dark mode, okay? If you don't have Save Wizard yet, there's a link here. You can click on that and it'll take you to Save Wizard. And then we've also got here just a little um, kind of mini menu, which is the same as what's across the top here. Uh, lastly, we have our Save Selector. So in Save Selector, this will give you all the list of saves that you have. So anything that you have saved in the Definitive Collection, um, it will show here. But we can also add files. So we can go ahead and add a new folder. And so we can click whichever folder that we want. Uh, I've got Save Editor, Vice City, click OK. All right, then when we're in here, we want to make sure we change it because it's going to default to Vice City. We want to double click on it. 
if it's gonna let me here. Oh, sorry, this is the one I just did. We're gonna double click on it. We're gonna change it to definitive edition. And then we wanna make sure we click away onto something else. Okay, this way it'll actually register. Then we can close this and then it should list. There we go, there is all of our saves. So if you don't remember exactly where all your saves are, you can just click one of the folders and it should find them for you. Um, and then from here we can open them, delete them, or open the file location so you can find out where they are. All right, and then refresh if they're not showing up for right away for you for whatever reason. Now we can close that. So that is all the kind of basic options up top here. So now we're gonna dig in deep to what each tab does individually. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each tab individually and go over all of the options that we can do in each individual tab. So first here in the character tab, as you can see, we have the save at the actual top. So it's 100% save that I am using. So I went ahead and opened it, of course, and it's 100% keep your friends close. So we'll list whatever save you have. Then right underneath that, we have our money. So we got 13 million, 695 and change. So that's gonna be what it'll be in our bank account. And we can up that to whatever we want and play around with that. So we can go up to 999 million, I believe it is. Then underneath that, we've got our, our armor. So if we just hover over it, it'll tell us what it is. So this is our armor. And we hover over this one. This one is our health. We can go up to 200 and 200. Little skull here is for God mode. So we can turn that on and off. We've got our character over here to the left. If we hover over it, it'll give us a full picture view. So we can change our model. So normally, obviously, we're Tommy. But if we want to change even Tommy's outfits, we can go ahead and play around with the different outfits. Or we can change the model completely to someone else. Now, the difference with this, though, is when we do change it to, say, Jez Torrent, if we do die or go to the hospital, it will resort or revert back to Tommy. So just something to keep in mind. Then we've got underneath that infinite sprint, free busted, fast reload, free one-time healthcare, fireproof, taxi boost, and drive by enable. So free busted is like a get out of jail free card. Same with the free one-time health. Fast reload doesn't actually even have to reload. You can just continue shooting and you don't do any kind of a reload animation. Fireproof, pretty self-explanatory, you're fireproof. Taxi jump is like a little booster jump that you can do. And then we got drive-by, which allows you to um, shoot out of vehicles, which you normally can't do. So generally, if it's kind of something that's not unclear, you can just hover over it and it should pop up and tell you what it is going to do. Then over here, we have our wanted level. So we can have it as a default of say maximum one star that we get or two stars or three stars or whatever you like or we can just have it never wanted so we can turn it off completely so we never get arrested down here we got all of our weapons so, so we can select whatever weapons we want from the little drop down menu if we hover over here this is the ammo in clip and then this is going to be the number of clips so we can play with this we can change this to you know 99999 as much as we want now in the game it'll only show five nines but you can do more than that and then basically it'll just hold it in a reserve and then once you get down to that level and it'll then start to depreciate at that point we can go into grenades, remote detonator, tear gas, molotov. So under each one, they'll have a few different options under the type of category of what gun it is. So we've got three different shotguns, a couple different uh, Tech-9, Uzi, MP5s, MP4s, Rugers, minigun, uh, PSG, snipers, and then you've got a detonator and a camera. Then underneath that, we got our minute length. So 1000 milliseconds is going to be like one second in real life. But if we want to make this like a real life situation, we could do 60,000 and that's going to be one minute, like 60 seconds in real life. So if you want to play around with that, you can do so. You also get the game speed. Don't recommend going below one and or above number four. So if you do want to adjust the game speed, you can do that a little bit. And then we've also got the weather so we can override the weather to whatever we want. Extra sunny, hurricane, cloudy or sunny. So we can pick whichever one we like. And that's everything under the characters uh, tab. So now we're going to go into gangs. Under the games, gangs, we've got the friendly towards player, hostile towards player. So we can play around with that. So we want to have them friendly or hostile, whichever you prefer. We then have our vehicles. So they're default vehicles. So for the Cubans, there's the Cuban Hermes. But if we want to change it to a dinghy, we can change it to a dinghy. Uh, and if we actually hover over it, it will show the vehicle. Then we could also change their default weapons. So if you don't want to have anybody with guns, you could put them all to hammers and things like that. And they can also have secondary weapons also. So we can toggle that to friendly or hostile. 
So that is everything under the gangs tab. Now we go into garages. So the garage you can have some more fun with. I'm gonna do my Hyman condo and I'm gonna go ahead and add a few of these vehicles in here. So I got a blister compact, Saber. So the Hyman condo actually has three different garages. Please note with the first garage, it does show four spots, but only the first two work. Then under garage two, we've also got two more. And then garage three, we've got two more as well. So very similar, like with GTA five, we can go ahead and change our category for our bike, boat, car, heli, or RC vehicle. And then we can go ahead down here and pick the different vehicle that we want. We can even change the primary and secondary color. So we can play around with picking one of these little blocks here and then submit. And then we've also got the secondary color, same idea. We can play around with that. You can change the location to somewhere specific if you wanted to, or just set to default. We can add a bomb, so a timer bomb, ignition bomb, etc. We can change the default radio station. So if you have a favorite radio station, we can go ahead and set that as default. And then we can also make the vehicles bulletproof, damage proof, fireproof, and explosion proof. So pretty much indestructible. So you can go ahead and toggle those on and off as well. And then you got different body style variations. So just like GTA 5, where you got, say, a Mesa, for example, hard top and soft top, you could change the different variations for the different body styles. So don't know if there's a list somewhere and what those actually are, but if you don't, you can go ahead and play around with them if you're so inclined. And so you can do this with all of your different properties, so you can change those different garages and such. Then we go into the map. Now the map is huge. So this, you can either just use that as a reference if you're just trying to unlock things legitly. If you don't wanna edit your saves and play around with that, you can just use this map as a reference and you can go and check out your stunt jumps and your rampages and all that kind of stuff. It shows them all here on the map where the locations are. So you can go ahead and do them at your own leisure. So up top here, we have a filter. So we can just uncheck all filters if we want to and that'll just give us a nice clean map here. We can also use this little scrolling bar up here to zoom in so we can scroll that along and it'll zoom into the map. Then we can just press and hold our mouse and drag it to do the kind of scrolling or we can scroll it here on the bottom and the sides as well. So you can kind of maneuver it however you like. Then from here, we can change the options that we want. So if we just want to see the um, hidden packages that we've collected, we can do a little check mark there. This will show all the packages that we've collected. And then we can also go show not collected. So you can kind of play around with those. All right, then you've also got the Hyman Memorial Stadium. So the Hyman Memorial Stadium we have up here. So we can do the blood ring, dirt ring, and the hot ring. And if we actually hover over one of them, right click it, we can edit the time so we can edit to whatever we want. So this one took five hours, 12 minutes. Well, we could put it down to four hours, 12 minutes if we wanted to. And then we've got the fastest time. We've got the fastest or best result. All right, longest time, uh, kills, and fastest time. So all of these we can right click and we can edit them to our liking. This little icon here just shows where we are. We've also got a waypoint. If we right click anywhere on the map, we can set a waypoint. And the little teardrop there, or the watermark, whatever you wanna call it, that's where the actual player location is. But we can change it too. So if we wanna go over here, right click, we can set the player spawn location to over there. I'm gonna leave it up here though, because this is close to the apartment that I'm gonna show you where the vehicles are. And then from there, we've got, um, you got your ammunitions, you got assets. So these would be your properties, anything that you own. So if you got down here, we've got the uh, Kaufman cabs. If we right click on this as well, we can edit the revenue. So if you wanna play around with how much money that these businesses make you, you can do that. We can have the revenue of 7,000, the maximum limit is 7,000, the revenue rate is 7,000, and then hit submit. So we can play around with that also. Not too sure if there's any limits with it, but it's something you can play around with if you like. Next, we've also got the chopper checkpoints. So those will show where all the checker, uh, choppers are on the map. Um, so I think there's one up here somewhere. Uh, can't find it now. And there go studios, but obviously they are on here somewhere. All right, then you've also got the cranes, which are down here at the bottom of the map. Oh, there's a helicopter one over there. And then we've got the other missions, hardware stores, pay and sprays, RC missions, robberies, and all that kind of stuff. So with robberies, same thing. If we go to the robbery, we can show it as completed. All right, so it'll show whether it's completed or not by just hovering over it. You can do RC missions. So I think there's one out over here on the beach somewhere. There it is. We can right click on that, edit the time. So we can have it done in two minutes and 24 seconds or edit it to whatever we like. Then we got pickups, adrenalines, ammo, bribes, health, everything on here as well. So it'll show you on the map where they are. 
All right, and then we got rampages, so you can show completed and not completed for rampages. So if it's completed, it's gonna show red. If we wanna change it to uncompleted, we can right click it again and change it to incompleted and then submit. Then we've also got stunt jumps. With the stunt jumps, it's gonna show you your start point and your finish point. So the start point is gonna be the yellow and the finish point is gonna be in the red. So you know, obviously you wanna launch from this area and land in this area. And if it's not completed, we can go ahead and edit completion to, to make it completed just like that. Now, if you're wanting to unlock trophies and things like that, what you wanna do is you wanna basically complete all of them but one. And then all you want to do is go back into the game and complete just that one that you're missing and you should get that trophy for completing them all and that also works for pickups so for the weapon pickups um, and things like that also i will show you here in the side missions it's also going to do that as well um, then we've also got the public vehicles we can actually edit these also so if we have a public vehicle if we go back up here to where our apartment's going to be there's actually this vehicle here is a maverick if i right click it i can edit it and now i can change it to something else let's say i change it to a hunter instead all right and we can change the color also if we want to we can submit whichever colors we want all right we can do that not wanted wanted available alarm all that kind of stuff we can play with here also and then close that so now it's going to be a hunter helicopter all right so you can change any vehicle on the map by just right clicking and to whatever you like so it's a sanchez but we can make it something else and that's pretty much it for the map section. So very detailed, again, whether you're doing something legit or you just want to find locations, if you want to set yourself a waypoint, you can do that, spawn anywhere, and lots of cool things that we can do within the map. And it's a full, full view, and we can scroll in, scroll out as we please. And so very customizable with the map. Next, we're gonna go into pickups. So in the pickups, these are locked and unlocked, all right? So these are guns that you would pick up throughout the map. Now, these, um, these pickups, you usually have to unlock them, but if we do the pickup here, they're actually gonna show up at our safe house, all right? So if we go into any of our safe houses, if we leave these unlocked, we can go ahead and back to our safe house. Let's say we got arrested, we lost all of our weapons. We can now go back to our safe house and we can get all of these weapons, armor, and things like that as well. Let me just go pick them up. Next is the radio tab. Radio tab, not much we can do here other than just change the listening time if we wanted to, so we can change how much time we've listened to the radio. Um, so if that's something that interests you for whatever reason, you can go ahead and edit that. Next one we have here is the side mission. So as I mentioned earlier, side missions, um, we can have this set up so that we can have, for each category, we've got street, expensive, sport, and gang. We can put them all to delivered but one, and then all we have to do is deliver that last one from each category and that's going to give us the trophy grand theft auto for delivering all of these individual vehicles so that's why when i built my garages i left a blista i left a saber and i did a phoenix and i did the cuban hermes so i did all of those vehicles so that i can go ahead and deliver them and get the trophy all right so pretty cool there Next one, we got a little sub tab here is the Vice Street Racer. So this just shows you the map for the racers. Um, so if you haven't done those yet, you can see kind of pre what they look like. It does show you in game as well. Um, but if you do want to actually go ahead and edit these, we can actually edit these times as well here at the very bottom. So we can have it done, what place we come in, first, second, whichever. And so you can play around with your lap time or completion time on that as well next one is stats now with the stats this is things like travel you distance by a car travel uh, distance travel by a golf cart um, you know how many gang members you've killed and things like that diablos killed days pass in game so if for any reason you're so inclined you want to play around with all these different stats you can edit them just over here all right so you can change them to whatever enumeration value that you prefer uh, unused gills if you want to get a really high kd that type of thing if that's an option in this game i'm not too sure um, you could play around with those all underneath the stats now the next thing here is data blocks do not touch the data blocks unless you know what you're doing this is where you get into hex editing so that's why it has a little warning here data block section is not is for advanced users only modifying this wrong data will corrupt your save so use with caution all right so personally we can just dismiss it if we want to and then we can go around and play around with it i don't know anything about this but if you know about hex editing this is where you're going to go to do so but if you don't then just leave it as is well, that just about covers it, guys. That is it. That is the Grand Theft Auto Vice City Definitive Edition Save Editor for PS4 by XB36 Hazard. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you understood what I was trying to say and it was thorough enough for you. I kind of broke down as best as I could and big shout out to Hazard for obviously spending the time and the effort to make the software for us to use and also for him trusting me to make a video for you guys. So hopefully I did it justice. He did say there was going to be um, other additions for the other two games that came in the Definitive Edition. So hopefully he'll let me do videos on those as well. So if he does, you will be guaranteed to see them here on the channel. Once I post this video, the software itself will be live. So you can go download it. It will be in his Hazard loader and so our launcher so you can just go ahead and download it from there uh, i will leave a link down below of course to the official website where you can go ahead and download it also if you do appreciate all the time and effort he's put into it you can donate through paypal i'm sure he would greatly appreciate anything you guys can throw his way he does all this for free in his spare time and i know i appreciate it so i'm sure it'd be nice if you guys did as well and so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Again, if you have any questions or any problems with the software, drop them down below. I can forward them off to Hazard. Um, or any questions I may know, I can answer them in the comments. But uh, And if there's anything else that changes, perhaps I'll do a follow-up video on this uh, the software. So that's it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. And until the next one, this is SCG. Stay sexy and happy glitching.